The dead did that. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready. Hey yo, what's up dorks? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something just a little bit differently. I actually want to start a new series called Your Week in One. And pretty much what it entails is uh, me finding some funny, cringy, or whatever thing that interests me, like like news titles or like funny little opinions or whatnot. And I'm going to give it to you guys, pretty much summing up your week in one. Uh, that's pretty straightforward, right? So, uh, the plan for this series so far is that I'm going to upload every Friday or Thursday. Um, as you can tell, this is probably kind of late. Um, I'm a little autistic, sorry. Uh, and uh, let's get started, boys. So, guys, it seems that the Hornets have got here, bruh. You guys remember those mort murder hornets like a couple weeks ago? Um, there were like memes about how big they were, those things are killer, etc, etc. Well, turns out we got our first mortar murder hornet nest in the U.S. found in Washington State by the Huffington Post right here. Let's see. Scientists have discovered the first nest of so-called murder hornets in the United States and plan to wipe it out sa Saturday to protect native honeybees. Alright, so there you go. They stopping, they stopping it. It's still pretty wild though, dude. Those things are huge and they'll mess you up, dude. Let me tell you. Ah, you know, it's kind of funny because uh, I'm, I'm reading through the article and it says, Despite their nickname and the hype around the insect that has stirred fears and already bleaked the year, the hornets kill at most a few dozen people a year in Asian countries. A at most. Come on, guys. Don't, uh, no hype. No hype intended, bro. Um, I got a few questions, though. They shouldn't kill anyone. But, I mean, I guess looking into probably, like, wasp deaths per year, you know, it's probably what they're going by. Only, only a few dozen people in Asia. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Meanwhile, hornets, wasps, and bees typically found in the United States kill on average 62 people a year. Okay, so there you go then. You die more from wasp. Uh, good game, boys. Um, so what are we doing wrong then? What are they? What are the Asians doing right? We doing wrong. I don't understand. Uh, anyways, let's move on to the next one then. I guess before we go on any further. Now, guys, um, this is probably old news uh, to all people because this happened on October 16, 2020. But an article came out that says a Chick-fil-A employee saved a boy from choking in the drive-through line. Um, that is not a joke, dude. Those Chick-fil-A employees, let me tell you, dog, they're wild. And your boy Zach the Cowboy, dude, an Eagle Scout and CPR certified dude, followed the panic calls from the car in the drive-through and uh, observed the seat with the father and another customer attempting to free a child in the back seat of the vehicle. According to statement, the seatbelts appeared to be wrapped around a child's windpipe. Oh, yikes, dude. So it wasn't even food, honestly, but the, the, <laughs> it'd be, it'd be wild in though, dude. Uh, but hey, you know, he saved the kid, you know, GG boys. Uh, crazy enough though, uh, funny enough, it's, it's, it's kind of weird that this happened twice. But uh, there's another article that happened in around June of 2019. Uh, on CNN as well that says a Chick-fil-A manager leaped through a drive through window to save a choking six-year-old that's that's beautiful dude <laughs> and what's funny is that we even have a bit of it I'm watching it right now it's pretty crazy dude just literally the boy the man just jumped out dude those Chick-fil-A employees dude 10 out of 10 dude best customer service dude they'll probably, they'll probably they'll probably give me a kidney transplant dude if I ask for it nicely and they'll say my pleasure my pleasure dude hell yeah <laughs> it's just crazy see okay let me see he says he nodded in the back seat oh yeah he saw a six-year-old boy in the back seat found the mother begging for help in the drive through lane oh okay all right then what oh it's is it the same thing it's uh notice the boy in the back seat with his seatbelt tangled around his neck again oh my twice huh he used a pocket knife Ooh, are you allowed to have pocket knives at work dude <laughs> I'm telling. I'm just kidding. I don't care. That's that's good on him. Though. I'm I'm glad. Now diving into sports, guys. I'm pretty sure you guys already know that. Uh, L.A. wins, baby. L.A. wins. That was wild, and dude, that that whole game, the whole. Uh, that was. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go, Dodgers. Yeah, 32 years, baby. 32 years. Um, it's about time. <laughs> Uh, you know, I was pretty excited, dude. Those last couple pitches in the ninth inning for the last game. That was pretty hype, dude. <laughs> and, oh, man, dude. You wouldn't believe L.A. at the time, too. All those fireworks going on. And then freaking, uh, what's it called? There were fireworks going on in my area, too. There were not riots, per se, but just gatherings on the streets. 
Um, I didn't get to fully see the situation of the riots, but it did, get, it did look a little crazy, but I don't think anything crazy happened. Uh, well, that's wild, then, dude. The Hutchers win World Series since 1988. Can y'all believe that, dude? I wasn't even born yet, dude. I wasn't even a thought in my father's eye. I don't know how that goes, but... Yeah, dude, that was crazy, dude. Tampa Bay's, you guys play, uh, you played a good game, but, uh, good game, you know? GG, boys, as they say in the gaming community. Um, you guys were good sports, and that was just crazy, dude. Especially a couple games ago where, um, we, we were, like, neck and neck, and then suddenly on the last inning, I believe, we literally just gave them two runs in order to win the game, which was wild, and which was kind of sad, because I really blamed Roberts, but it is what it is, and we still won, though, so, you know, you, you win some, you use some, yeah, you can't win them all. But uh, but I just want to win sometimes, you know. Uh, not even sometimes. I just want to win once. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. Anyways, let's move on because that's uh, that's a pretty good story. I was pretty excited. All right, guys. This one's from UPI, and uh, just letting you guys know I, on this show, I do not want to be political. Uh, I don't want to get any politics involved, really, unless it's bare bone or it's it's something like it's kind of newsworthy that's funny. But anyways, this, <laughs> I think you guys will get a kick out of this. This won't get anyone mad. I hope. <laughs> A uh, woman in labor stops to vote in Florida on way to hospital. Now, <laughs> I know voting is your God-given right, but like, <laughs> whoa. I, I mean, I'm glad she voted, you know. It's important. At least she's got her priorities straight, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's <laughs> But uh, I think it, it'd be more important to, to go birth your child first and then probably go vote. Heck, you could probably even do it online. I don't know how Florida does it. Florida do be wild, and it had to be a Florida girl. But I'm pretty sure you could have done it online or through a ballot. Heck if I know. Whatever. I just work here, dude. I voted like five weeks ago. A uh, woman in labor had her husband stop on the way to Florida hospital for the birth of their child so she could cast her vote. That's beautiful. Mwah. It was an odd situation, but she wanted to vote, and that was her right as an American citizen. You know what? America! Heck yeah, brother! Uh, we want to facilitate every voter that is eligible to vote, the right to vote, no matter their circumstances, no matter the situation. I mean, unless you, you can't legally vote, but, you know. I mean, she probably wasn't a labor, honestly. I, I can't, I don't want to speculate here, but she probably wasn't an extreme labor. I mean, she she probably felt the kicking, but it probably wasn't there there yet. So she's like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make a statement. I'm gonna go vote. Uh, let me see if she let me see if she voted for someone. I'm pretty sure she's gonna vote for someone. It's gotta be like a statement or something. She'll be like, yeah, you don't you don't don't forget to go vote blank. <laughs> I can't find much in this article, but she didn't vote for anyone. But I did mention I did find something funny. I understand the importance of this election to some people. I gave her an I voted sticker and she was on her way to the hospital. She was very happy that she got to vote. And you know what? God bless her, dude. God bless her. Um, you can, <laughs> once the child grows up, you know, you can tell the story of, hey, you know, right before you were about to blast out, I voted. 2020. Shit a year. But uh, <laughs> let's move on, guys. So I'm pretty sure you guys already seen that meme going around with the big ass jellyfish you know the one going around the memes like like damn get under it and uh and use it as a blanket dude that way you don't you don't feel any emotions after that i won't feel depression uh the only thing you're gonna feel is numbness i guess but at least it'll ease the pain anyways so we have on winknews.net or dot com man i can't even talk runner finds giant jellyfish on vanderland beach or vanderbilt beach uh it's not fake dude it's not fake news uh, you know, sometimes when you see memes, you're like, man, that's ridiculous, dude. That's probably, it's probably Photoshop. It's probably some guy trying to troll with me, trying to, trying to get me to, to fall for this. But uh, no, it's it's real, dude. Marine experts say tentacles on a specific type of jellyfish can extend around 70 feet. They call it the pink meanie, dude. But scientists say it's a rare find. And good on them, dude. Good on them. Um, oh wow, my word, said Gail Sp Spalding. Names are my critique, or my names aren't my best thing to do. Sorry, not much is in this article. Honestly, it's just a guy finds it. Uh, he says he wants to go back to the beach, and it, there's one tidbit of information that you guys might actually need in real life. Uh, but if you do happen to get stung, the best thing to do is take some Benadryl. 
Uh, while jellyfish things do hurt, they're not life-threatening, and you won't die. Unless you're allergic, and that sucks. And you, you probably will die, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, you know, that's pretty cool. You know, they found that big jellyfish. There's a video, let me see. Video ain't got much, but uh, Pink Beanie, dude, I like that. That's the name of, uh, that's the name of my ex. That's great. So, uh, you know, it's it's almost uh, it's almost Halloween. I think by the time it uploads, it's going to be the 31st. And I want to ask you guys, what are you guys doing for Halloween? You know, did you guys decorate? Did you guys do something funny? Did you guys, uh, I don't know, uh, vibed? Well, this one woman named Angela Nava. Uh, she lives in Richmond uh, in a nice little community. Uh, it's a homeowners association community, so you know it's bad. But anyways, <laughs> this one woman right here. She decided to make some pole dancing skeletons. That's perfect. That's sublime. Um, I really see nothing wrong with it, honestly. <laughs> but of course, homeowners association, you know, it's gonna happen. They deemed it appropriate. They said take it down in 30 days. They're offensively positioned. It's modeled after an adult club. We just really had a good time changing up the scene every night. Every night we change the positions of skeletons. It's really been a great creative outlet for me. You know, that's good on her, you know. And that's good she gets to creatively use the skeletons, you know. But unfortunately, you know, she did live she did sign up to live in a in a house for, for with the homeowners association. As much as they do suck, you kinda agreed to be there. It is what it is. Oh wait on second thought guys, I read too fast into that actually. She says she's she was thinking about complying because, you know, just take it down real quick, that's it. But now she says she's not because of Facebook and all the social media publicity. And all honestly, though, she probably should take it down. Uh, I do agree with, uh, you know, doing whatever you want to your house. You know, decorating whatever you want. Um, but unfortunately, you know, uh, communities, uh, homeowner associations, um, you, you kind of already know what you step into and they're going to tell you no and then you just, you got to do it. Or I don't know what happens. I never lived in the HOA house, but uh, if I did, I'd probably kill myself. Uh, let's move on, guys. Y'all ever run? Like, you guys can tell I probably don't run, but... I'm just kidding, I run, but... Uh, you guys ever just run and you guys go, Man, you know, this sucks, dude. I can't do it. I can't take it. I can't even do a mile in under 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? I could do I could do way better, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, so... <laughs> you're not going to believe this. Woman runs a mile in under 6 minutes while 9 months pregnant. Bro, where did they come up with this, dude? Where did I find this? That's the real question. October 21st. Uh, <laughs> a California athlete is going viral for an unusual reason after she ran a mile in under six minutes. Not only under six minutes, but nine months pregnant, dude. That's wild, dude. 525, actually. It says 525 mile. I know a couple buddies in the Army, dude. They can't even get that. And they're not even pregnant, dude. What's even crazier, she's like about, it said what, six times? No. She's a week, no. <laughs> Myler's husband, Mike, motherfucking Mike, bet her $100 that she could not run a mile in under 8 minutes, and she decided to take the challenge only one week before her due date. That's kind of risky, though, honestly. I don't know how that baby's going to feel. I don't know how it's going to react, dude. Probably nothing happened. Probably nothing's going to happen. You know, it's probably safe. I mean, the woman is kind of crazy tense, you know. It held me in there while I was being myself, and I didn't die, I guess. I mean, I came out weird, but... I didn't die. He's probably going to come out weird too or she, whatever it is. But, you know, it is what it is. That's that's life. That's life. It sucks. <laughs> but it's a, it's a funny little article I want to share with you guys from UPI. So let's move on. Norwegian officials apologize for making 2020 an hour longer. You can't, you can't make this shit up, dude. You really, you really can't make this shit up. Man, those trains are loud. Uh... Phew. What can I say? Literally, it is what it is in the title. Literally, the Norwegian officials responsible for daylight saving time in the country apologize for adding an additional hour to what was or has already been a demanding year. <laughs> Bro, it's just daylight saving times. It's not even daylight time climbs, I think. No, it is daylight saving times. They want to get rid of it by 2021, though, so, or twice yearly, I guess. But <laughs> that's just funny, dude. <laughs> Why would you apologize? You can't even control it. But it does kind of suck. It is one year longer, I guess, in Norwegian. Nor, nor, yeah. The Land of the Waffles. There you go. I'm, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm intrigued. That's actually kind of interesting. 
So, Seattle Arcade unveils touchless pinball machines. Now, you're probably thinking to yourselves, how can you, how can you play pinball if it literally it's your your hands or your more importantly, just your fingers and your and your, you know, you're knocking back, uh, whatever it is. But in, <laughs> I just saw the video and, and apparently he has Alex, this 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 nice crazy employee, also known as I guess Sleepy. I don't know why he put that. <laughs> Okay, that's probably his app. Uh, he invented this machine. Well, he didn't invent. He modified a pinball machine to operate using your feet only. So that means you could pull back the thing with your foot. You could use your feet to adjust or pretty much hit the ball, whichever side you want, left or right. Uh, start the game with your feet. It's it's pretty crazy. It's weird. It's crazy. Uh, guy said originally the arcade was closed uh, for eight months due to COVID. They weren't really sure about the future of it, but I guess now they're pretty hyped because they kind of unveiled the touchless pinball machines, and uh, you could do other things besides. Uh, besides, you could do other things with your hands now that they're free. You can drink. You can do inappropriate stuff. Uh, anyways, let's move on, guys. Now let's move on a little bit to uh, actual gaming, gaming. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure y'all heard about Cyberpunk 2020, uh, 2077. You know, it's a really nice looking game. You know, you can customize your uh, your character, your hair, your skin, your genitalia. You know, everything, everything, pretty much. So the the sad thing about it is that you know it's pretty hype. Uh, we got people backing it like freaking uh, the one, the only uh, Fortnite guy. <laughs> I forgot his name for a sec. Uh, the one, the only, uh, John Wick needs your help. I'm just gonna go with John Wick. Uh, he's backing it up, you know, it's pretty crazy. What the, I'm reading that it was announced in 2012. First teaser trailer premiered in 2013, January. First release date set for uh, April 16, 2020. That was the first time it was, uh, it was actually hinted it was gonna drop for reals, for reals this time. Um... Let's see, Ke uh, Keanu Reeves, there you go, I don't know why he forgot the name, uh, you're breathtaking, you know, that's where he comes from, uh, you know, people were pretty hyped, it's a nice looking game, you know, uh, it was touted as pretty powerful, <laughs> customize your own genitalia, you know, the works, uh, it, but then it got delayed, unfortunately, but I mean, it, the, the fans were kind of uh, optimistic about it, they're like, you know what, that's fine, September 17, 2020, you know, that's whatever. It is what it is. It's a game. It's a big game with a lot of promises. So let's knock it out. Wait it out. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm personally not too hyped about it. Uh, I just keep thinking it's going to get pushed back until God knows when. 2022, 2023. But uh, it's going to probably drop. I really think it's probably going to drop this year. And if it does drop, then who knows? Probably be a great game. Probably not. Anyways, and then the last delay... To November, oh no, not the last delay. The, the previous last delay was November 19. People were actually hyped about it because that coincided with the with the new generation of consoles and the new new game Black Ops. You know, the, you guys know how the new game system works. You know, every November, every October ish, there's it's pretty big uh, game drop time. Yeah, Call of Duty in the works. Um, but then, unfortunately, you know, on October 2020. Project Red announced the game had gone gold. The term means the games have been finalized to go into certification process for consoles, which also begins the process to begin printing the discs that will go out to retail stores. So I, it's pretty close, and it went gold. Uh, but then finally, uh, one last delay. It happened a couple days ago. Uh, there, it went from November 19 all the way down to December 10th. It's 21 days. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's, it's not asking for much. It's 21 days. Granted, a lot of us are kind of skeptical about whether or not 21 days will do much at all. Uh, you know, <laughs> you spend years working on this game. How, what's 21 days going to do? Apparently, it's going to do a lot as uh, we got the main developer and the teams working together and actually putting out a statement a while back. Let me look it up. Today, we've decided to move the release date of Cyberpunk 2077 by 21 days. The new release date is December 10th. Most likely there are many emotions and, qu and questions in your head, so first and foremost, please accept our humble apology, uh, Adam and Marcin, uh, you know, from the CD Project Red. Um, I mean, whatever, you know, it is what it is, it's, they're going to push it back, I don't care. It might show a few flaws in the game if it's really taking that long or something crazy going on behind the scenes that we're not looking at. Um... 
I'm a little worried about it. It's kind of scaring me. But anyways, uh, let's... <laughs> There's one more thing I actually do want to mention, however. It's kind of messed up. It is what it is. It's sad. But where is it? If I can find it. So I, I recently pulled up an article about the, on The Verge. Uh, I don't really like The Verge that much, but it is what it is. Cyberpunk 2077 developers asking for basic human de decency after receiving death threats over game delay. Uh, it's just kind of sad, dude. You know, you can't really... It's kind of messed up, dude, honestly. You know, you can you can exercise your free right, whatever. You can freedom of speech. You can do all that stuff. But it's just kind of messed up when whenever someone actually does a death threat. Unwarranted, really. It's it's, it's just a game. It's just a game, you know what I'm saying? It's things like this making us, us gamers look bad. You know, the, the worst minority. Gamers. Uh, here we got Andres. <laughs> Why do I got to butcher these names? These are weird-ass names. Andres. Zawadzki. Okay, I, I, I give up. Zawandi. It's he's. And by the way, he is a senior game developer on CD Projekt Red, so he's part of the team. I want to address one thing in regard of Cyberpunk game delay. I understand you're feeling angry, disappointed. I want your voice to. You want to voice your opinion about it. However, sending death threats to the developer is absolutely unacceptable and just wrong. We are people just like you. So it's just kind of crazy, dude. This game is wild and, you know, it's been plagued by a lot of weird stuff going on, like delays and really early on start point from, like, back in 2012. But let's move on, guys. Let's do a last little thing and then we'll, we'll wrap this up. Going back to Halloween here. Trick or treating while social distancing. Check out the Halloween candy cut -up A York County family has gone creative and can't wait to launch candy to trick or treaters on Halloween night. Now, you know, this is kind of thinking outside the box. Originally, I wanted to do a little... I, I still kind of want to do the spirit of Halloween, giving out candy to children and all that. But, um, you know, my, my, my idea is puny compared to his. I was just going to have a table. You know, I was just going to place candy on the table. Kid picks it up, runs away, throws it back at me, probably TPs my house later. And you, that is, it is what it is, you know? But this guy, <laughs> this kid, dude, made a freaking candy catapult, catapult that launches your kid's treats. No tricks. As it says, I guess. Uh, we have a tweet right here. How cool is this? This York County family came up with a creative way to let your kids trick or treat and still keep their distance. That's perfect. That's great. Mwah. <laughs> uh, that's the last little happy note. And uh, let's move on. And lastly, guys, I do want to send you off with this little tidbit of information. Uh, I do want to send you off with this little tidbit of information. Uh, it's probably going to come in handy for you guys. If you guys, if you're on the side of, I don't wear a mask, why do I, why do I have to wear a mask? This really won't tell to you, it won't matter. But to uh, those of us who wear masks and gloves and etc. or just exercise uh, safety, I mean, it's up to you, I don't really care, you do you. But anyways, to those of us that wear masks and all that stuff, Halloween is not cancelled this year. County provides safe guidelines. Alright, that's pretty good. Uh, granted, I don't know uh, if it's around the world or United States in general, but... I do know here in our San Bernardino County, uh, in California, close to L.A., it's not canceled. I'm pretty sure in L.A. it's not canceled either, and if it's not canceled in L.A., which is like the hottest spot for COVID, I think you guys would probably be safe. However, the caveat is they do recommend these things right here. No home-prepared treats. All candy should be individually packaged. It's kind of a go-given. Uh, um, I mean, every now and then, if they do give out candy apples, uh, I kinda, I'm kind of iffy about it, but... I think it's lost its charm in the 80s once uh, people started putting uh, putting the uh, knives and stuff in there. Consider creative ways to safely dispense candy, such as setting up a table with individual items available for children to take. So, you know, pretty much, that's pretty much was my idea, you know, just have a table, put candy on it, let the kids take it, TP my house later, boom. Happy, happy Halloween. Uh, move distribution away from a crowded porch or entryway. Uh, like I was thinking, probably the driveway. I was real. I had my hopes really high for that. I want to have a nice little fireplace, a little table right there. Just give ca candy to kids. I still want the spirit to go on, even even though this is a shitty year. You know, you gotta have hope up, and still gotta at least for children's sake. You know, you gotta do something for them, because the poor souls they're they're cooped up in the house, and they need more energy than us. So you know, it's crazy. 
allow families to approach a home individually without crowding uh, go figure you know don't be in crowds and if you're in a crowd you know make a protected bubble you know like this is my safe space guys uh, I feel triggered uh, do not approach a home that has its porch lights turned off go figure <laughs> I mean do people still do that sometimes I get it like you know the decorations are on and there's no one home no lights on you still knock there's probably a, a tape of a piece of paper on a tape and it says don't knock not home etc that's fine i get it but people still go up to homes that are like completely off doesn't make any sense i guess probably children probably retarded children but i guess so uh remember that a halloween mask is not a su suitable substitute for a cloth mask and may not provide enough protection well well go figure right <laughs> uh that's pretty straightforward honestly that's not crazy uh but yeah you know you guys stay safe out there have a happy halloween a merry halloween mm, you know if it's not banned i would recommend checking your local news stations or your local guidelines whatever you can find in your area but i know here in san bernardino it's good to go just make sure you practice your your safety distances you know your distance your mask hand sanitizer don't get close to to retards you know pretty common sense stuff and if you don't believe in that stuff anyways you know whatever get, go for it have fun I, I don't judge i really don't care uh, i just i just live at home i uh, who cares <laughs> but it is what it is boys anyways uh don't forget to tip your waitresses guys and i'll and i hope you guys really enjoy this this is actually kind of fun I might do some more every... I'm going to try to do it every week. Uh, heaven forbid I am retarded and I do something else that's probably not this, but I, I really am trying to do this every Thursday or Friday. Thursday night at the at the best. Uh, worst, probably Friday. Friday morning, Friday evening. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, comment down below if you guys liked it. If you guys want me to talk about some certain topics, like maybe some more games, some, some more sports. Okay, I do know that it's crazy because the Lakers and the Dodgers have won. So, two LA teams back-to-back. -back. Well, actually, you know, before I even close it off, it's pretty interesting that back in 1988 when the Dodgers last won the World Series, the, the Lakers actually won it as well. So, it's pretty crazy, dude. 2020, both teams take it again. That's wild. And that's, bro, I'm still hyped, dude. Look, I'm, I'm still shaking, dog. I'm still, I'm still shaking. Anyways, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, don't sniff fumes from your pen seal. <laughs>